The Dutch have cast their ballot and an exit poll predicts that a substantial majority has voted in favour of far-right populist leader Gerrit Wilders. But why are nations shocked at the mandate? And is this election outcome a sign of winds changing direction in Europe? That's the question we are dealing with today. Now, as per the exit poll, Wilders Freedom Party has carved out 35 out of 150 seats, giving the right-wing populist leader a majority among all his competitors. I'm in politics for 25 years now, and this is the happiest day um, of my life so far in politics. We, we became the number one party by far. I mean, it's what a lot of people, if you would have asked them a year ago, would call you uh, mad. And uh, it happened today. So I'm very proud. Um, it's, um, I'm very happy. And it, it, it brings along a lot of feeling of responsibility. The anti-Islam leader whose campaign has centered around migration and asylum policies is positioned to form the next ruling coalition and become the next prime minister. Now Wilders has been called the Dutch Donald Trump for his unconventional behavior. He has had death threats from Islamic extremists as well as a conviction for insulting Moroccans. Britain once banned him from entering the country. It's an earthquake. You, could, you can call it an earthquake. Nobody expected this result. PVV, which more or less is a radical populist outlier in Dutch politics, becoming the biggest party, prime minister's party, perhaps even, that was really not expected by anyone. Not even by the, Geert Wilders, the potential prime minister himself. What also emerged as a surprise this election was the new centrist party, the NSC, winning 20 seats, making veteran politician Peter Omzicht a considerable player in coalition talks. I'm ecstatic. The fact that we got 20 seats out of nothing, we didn't exist three, three months ago, means that there is a high trust of the Dutch population in our plans for better government plans for uh, better uh, to, to tackle the um, cost of living crisis which you have in the Netherlands and to finally set some cap on migration. Um, so it, it, it means a heavy responsibility, especially since we have a um, fairly complicated election result. After 13 years of having a centre-right in power, the Dutch have ditched the moderate for an extreme right leader to take the reins. I think it's good. Yeah, uh, the Netherlands need a change, change in everything they had not done last 14 years. So written, bye-bye, <laughs> welcome, Gerd Wilders. The mandate has created a stir and caused many to question if the outcome in Netherlands is an indication of where things are headed for European nations. Now the timing of the growing right-leaning sentiment in Europe is more worrying for one key reason, the looming elections for European Parliament slated to be held in June next year. Let's talk about why the European Parliament is pivotal for the EU bloc. European Parliament is the world's one and only directly elected transnational assembly. 705 elected representatives from 27 member states constitute the European Parliament. Now the members directly re represent the interests of EU citizens at the European level. The Netherlands is an EU member since 1958, which means that the country's leaders represent the government and citizens' interest at the EU Parliament. Should Gerrit Wilders form the government and become Prime Minister, here's what his key policies will be. 1. Outlaw mosques, Islamic schools and the Quran. 2. Come down hard on migrants seeking refuge or asylum in Netherlands. The far-right leaders' policies and radical outlooks have analysts worried that the right-leaning wave will make its way to other countries in Europe as well. And with the EU Parliament election months away, the bloc 
in all probability will see growing right-leaning voices leading the policy decisions for the European Union.